So it's Saturday for my Easter break and uh, my family and I were going to Edmonton uh, just for a day uh, trip and uh, I just wanted to showcase um, what I do uh, when we're going out for a day trip basically uh, my thought process because I always have to go with my film camera. So I usually travel with a small film bag like this you know I can just pack a couple cameras in here and I usually travel with one SLR and also one point and shoot camera and the reason I do that is because in case um, my SLR uh, the battery dies or uh, I, I, it's always good to have a backup so my SLR and my point and shoot will go in here this is my other favorite camera uh, sort of camera bag that I have um, I tend to have uh, always pack a flash um, unit in my bags as well and I tend to pack at, at least as many as uh, three or four rows because you never know <laughs> and for my cameras um, I usually if it's medium format I'm usually with this one and the reason why I go with the Mamiya M60, uh, M645 1000S is because it's 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 actually not too big right it's not too big I have the RZ 67 as well but that one is not portable at all but this one is more suited suited for uh, street photography because it's pretty much the size of a video camera think just think about it it's the size of a video camera it looks like a video camera so when you're out there in public shooting with this if you don't bring too much attention to yourself and that's why I do travel with this if I want to shoot medium format and for 35 millimeter uh, cameras uh, my cameras of choice would be um, this one here that's the Minota SRT uh, 202 I did a review of this one and I'll put a link in the description of this video it's all manual it's fully manual so except for the light meter um, so I don't have to worry about losing battery life it's very reliable if I'm in a, if I'm going on a trip like today I don't want to have any issues on the trip I don't want to ever miss an opportunity this is the one that I would go with on an occasion when I just want I don't want to think too much about photography I want the camera to do all the work for me I would go with uh, this camera here and that's the Canon EOS uh, 650 which I did a review of as well I'll leave a link in the description for this video as well I was invited to a birthday party all I did was bring this camera because I didn't want to have to fidget with the settings and all of that in the camera I put it in a, in, a, in a shutter priority mode and it did all the work for me this is another camera that I love to travel with and that's the Canon AE-1 program camera and this camera would it's a no fast camera like I talked about in the review which I'll leave the link in the description as well one other camera that I also enjoy traveling with if I have more time if I if I'm feeling a bit more relaxed and I want to fidget with the camera I want to spend time with the camera I would travel with this camera which is, which is the Fujika Auto M um, and I, I, I did a video on this camera as well um, now this camera because it's a range finder it it involves a little bit more care a little bit more thought uh, you have to figure out what distance you're shooting from and all of that and then it, it will do the rest of the work for you and uh, so I, I, I travel with this oftentimes if I'm going on a long trip I will travel with this because if I'm by myself I have a, a bit more time for myself and I can actually think through um, my photography and as I mentioned I always love to travel with a backup because um, you never know right you never know if your SLR will would fail you actually I've had that happen to me one time so I learned my lesson from that incident that is always good to travel with a backup a reliable backup and for me a reliable back backup would be a point-and-shoot camera so I would often travel with one of these point and shoot uh, cameras I have a I have a, a number of these I would pick one of those my favorite point and shoot cameras would be this one here which is the Minota over here it has what I love about it is the viewfinder on, on this one it has a huge viewfinder it's really big and actually the name is called big viewfinder as you can see right there 
<laughs> it's implied in the name. It's it. I just love it because it's a. It's it's. There's not a lot of features on it, but you just point and you shoot. And I love the these for uh, for street photography. If I'm out on the street or to ca capture snapshots and candid shots of my kids, I have this camera as well, which is one of my favorites. Um, it 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 does all the work. Um, I don't have to think. I just point and I shoot. And uh, so I put these in my bag uh, as well as a backup. So now this brings me to the question, what am I going to travel today uh, with? Um, actually, I'm not going to travel with any of the cameras that I have shown so far uh, for the SLR or the medium format. What I'm going to be traveling with today is actually this camera. And that's the Practica PLC3 camera. And the only reason why I'm traveling with this is because I haven't shot with this yet. And this is one of the cameras that I'm interested in uh, trying out to see how it works. And um, I like to, before I review my cameras, I actually like to shoot with them and to, to, and to see how the experience is so I can uh, be authentic when I'm making the reviews. Uh, so I'm gonna test this out today to see how it turns out. And as, uh, as a backup, uh, I will have um, this camera with me as well as a backup and this camera if you look at it closely it's a bit beat up it's not in pristine shape um, this portion of the of the camera is uh, missing it came missing and the battery compartment uh, door is also missing so I'm missing a few pieces from this camera but it's still functional so I am optimistic that um, it will turn out well the other thing about this camera is a little wobbly so the lens that actually that comes from the lens is a bit wobbly so uh, we'll see we'll see how that turns out i took a closer look and i realized that uh, these screws are actually loose so before i go i'm actually going to tighten these just to make sure that these are tightened i mean it's just common sense and just like that look at that the lens is no longer wobbly. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I always travel with my light meter. And this uh, light meter is the Seconic uh, Studio Deluxe light meter. Um, it comes in ha handy. I find it to be quite useful. Um, so I never leave home without this. If I, whenever I pack my bag, I always make sure that this light meter is in my bag. So time to pack the cameras. I'm just gonna put this in here. I took off the flash unit. It goes in like that. Flash unit goes in this section and my po point and shoot goes in that little slot there. And just like that, the bag is neatly packed. I mean, make sure I have enough film to work with. And I seem to have um, three rolls. This is black and white and these are color film. So I'm just gonna pack these. I think this should be sufficient for this trip. And that goes in the side pocket here. This bag can seem handy. So my, my light meter goes in this little pouch here. And that goes in the side pocket here. And I'm all good to go. Thank you so much for joining me on this channel today. I'm ready to go and I really appreciate your time and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and as always stay safe.